2,200 American teens ages 12 to 17 abuse prescription drugs for the first time every day. Last year we had more deaths caused by drug overdose than we've had in the last 20 years. Teens have easy accessibility to prescription medications. Whether they take them from their parents' medicine cabinet, their grandparents' medicine cabinet, steal them from a friend's home, or someone sells prescription medications to them, they figure out a way to get their hands on them. Until recently, the public's awareness of this problem was low. I call that a perfect storm. Prescription medications must be used as they are prescribed. The abuse and misuse of prescription drugs is the third leading cause of death in the United States. 70% of 12th graders said they were given prescription medication by a friend or relative. Many teenagers believe prescription drugs are safer than street drugs when it comes to getting high. Their thinking is that if it's prescribed by a doctor, then it must be okay and wiser than shooting heroin or smoking crack. The truth is that when you take prescription painkillers that were not prescribed for your medical needs, it can be just as dangerous and addictive as street drugs. Don't be fooled. More than 4 in 10 teens who misused or abused a prescription drug obtained it from their parents' medicine cabinet. If somebody has taken too many narcotic pills, we can give Narcan. It will reverse the effects of the drug. One thing about that is we have to give it uh, early enough that when the heart's still beating that that drug can be circulated around or there's nothing we can really do. Prescription drug overdoses killed nearly 45 people every day in 2010. That number continues to rise. Goodbye, sweetheart. I love you. Have a great time tonight. This is going to be epic. Hey man, what's up? Oh, hey, what's up, man? It's the, uh, hey. Hey, what's up? Hey, welcome to the party. Hey, man. Hey, 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 like, in my real life, when am I ever going to be asked to find the derivative of sine or cosine? It's totally pointless. So, what are you going to do for spring break next week? Ella and I are going to Florida, and it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait. What are you doing? Hey. Hey, are you okay? Hey, hey what's, what's going, going on? on? Wait, wait, are you, are you okay? okay? Hey, are you okay? What's, What's wrong? wrong? Jackie, Jackie, go get your mom! Call 911! Oh, screw that, dude. You wanna get in trouble? Shut up and just do it! Hey, are you okay? What's wrong? Tell me what's wrong! What did you do? What did you do? has started calling prescription drug abuse a nationwide epidemic, and our area certainly has not escaped the problem. Of course, says the most dangerous drug dealer around could be in your medicine cabinet. More overdose deaths than with cocaine and heroin. It can be found in most medicine cabinets. On Monday, we told you about a new study that says Indiana is not doing enough to curb prescription drug abuse, and the Hoosier State ranks 17th for most overdose deaths from 
prescription drugs. Body was found at a residence in Carroll County early this morning. Carroll County Detective Kevin Hammond says the Carroll County Sheriff's Department received a call about an unresponsive man around 12:50 this morning. The call came in from a juvenile who was also at the residence who called to say the man was not breathing. 19-year-old Brady Noonkester was pronounced dead at the scene. Deputies say they believe no foul play was involved and the investigation is ongoing pending a toxicology report and an autopsy. I just know Brady. If he could tell us today anything, he would apologize and tell us that it was an accident. He didn't mean to do this. And I know that he would feel very sorry for what he has put us all through. And that's exactly what he'd tell us. I'm sorry, Dad and Jenny, it was just an accident. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. If I had an opportunity to talk uh, to Brady, just one more time, um, I would tell him that I love him. And uh, that I'm not mad. And that it's okay. that I just really, really love him, and uh, it's okay. Ray and I go way back to some of the earliest memories I can think of. Some of our best times together were on this field on Friday nights. One day it seemed like he started hanging out with some friends that I felt like I needed to distance myself from them, which unfortunately led to me distance myself from Brady. The biggest thing I have um, to struggle with is guilt guilt that I should have tried harder to be there for him, and as a result, I really miss him. Saying nothing to a parent or a trusted adult because you're worried about a friend getting in trouble, it isn't the answer. If you don't say something, they could wind up in the morgue. Saying nothing perpetuates the myth that prescription drug abuse isn't as bad as using substances like heroin and other street drugs. Parents, saying nothing is a missed opportunity. Um, as a parent, we should take that time, that special time, and talk to our kids and, and instruct them and give them the knowledge about prescription drug overdoses. The biggest problem is saying nothing when someone you truly care about is in drugs, alcohol, or any other destructive behavior. Saying nothing means that your best friend may not be beside you on your wedding day as your best man. Saying nothing means someday you might wish hindsight wasn't 2020. Did she post that? No way. That's crazy. Hey, remember the plan tonight, okay? If somebody's doing something that makes you uncomfortable or they're making bad choices, you just call us. We will come get you no matter what. Hey, just blame it on your parents being big jerks or something. I love you. Hey, have a good time tonight. You can text us if you need anything and make smart choices. This is gonna be epic. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, what's up? How are you doing? Hey! Hey, what's up? What's up? We play some pool? Yeah. Alright. Hey! Oh my gosh, I am so fed up with calculus right now. Like, how is any of this even remotely related to what I want to do with my future? I mean, when am I ever going to be asked to find the derivative of cosine or sine or any of this? Hey! You're not seriously gonna take those, are you? Uh, I don't think so. Look at what this guy brought. I can't have those at my party. Sam, Brandon, look at what this guy brought. Can you take him out? Yeah. Hey man, did you bring these here? Yeah, uh, is that a problem? Yeah, we don't want those here. Let's go. Uh, okay, it's pretty sick. 
Thank you. Wow, well I'm glad that weirdo's out. Anyway, what are you doing for spring break? Um, if you're afraid to tell because you don't want your friend to get in trouble, I would encourage you to tell them um, to help them out because uh, you, know, you don't want to lose a friend. No one ever wants to lose their best friend. Parents, lock up all prescribed narcotic medications your family uses and properly dispose of ones you no longer need. Don't take that chance. Don't open that pill bottle for the first time. Your life is way too valuable. Look in the mirror and ask yourself, what are you doing to help your community, your family, your friends? You can make a difference. Know who your children are hanging out with. Check their phones, check their texts, check their rooms, check their vehicles if you have to. It's so important to know what is going on and they're not going to tell you if you just ask. Being a parent is so important. Be a parent first, be a friend second. I don't want anybody to walk one single day on this earth wishing they had done something different to save a life. Now is the time, more so than ever, as family members, as community leaders, that we need to stand up and discuss the dangers about prescription drug abuse. Now's not the time to take a back seat. Too many young lives are being lost to this epidemic. And together, we can make a difference.